Next story. North Star announces it will charge for parking this winter. Oh, my goodness. I am not very happy about this. So, you know, I had a North Star season pass for six years, and this was in college. There's no way I could I could afford a twenty dollar uh, a twenty dollar parking charge on top of what they're charging already for um, for parking or for their season passes and their their day lift tickets. Now they say they're they're trying to help traffic and congestion. Bull! I don't believe it for a second. It's Vail. Vail purchased North Star, and they're they're just they're just getting as much money as possible. And making it so that, you know, some people can't go skiing. And that's really upsetting to me. Um, we'll see. There's been a lot of public backlash about it. Uh, you know, the uh, the gentrification, the corporations coming into Tahoe and, and jacking up the prices and making the experiences different than what they've been in the past. Um, so we'll see. You know, maybe this is helpful with the rideshare programs too. I don't know. But... It really for them to charge 125 bucks for a lift ticket and then charge 20 bucks for parking, it's absurd. So, can you buy like a season parking pass too? Is that is that a thing? You know, I didn't read that. That's a great question. I don't think so. You'd think that when buying like a season pass, they'd, they'd offer a that pass. as yeah, like I a don't thing. Know. But you're right about the ride share. I didn't think about that aspect of it. That the ride shares getting kind of a boost from well because uber introduced uber ski uber ski is an uber uh car with a ski rack so i'm sure there's gonna be a ton of those in in trucky now but uh but you know for them to say it's anything other than a money grab is complete baloney 